Um, do I have chocolate in my teeth? <laughs> no? Okay, so let's go. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure being here tonight to show you a little bit of the jingle that we Brazilian researchers must have to make science happen in Brazil. And I say this because researchers face problems from the beginning to the end of their studies. But as a Brazilian researcher, I will never give up. So let's rock. Um, okay. uh, my name is Aline, and I'm a veterinarian professor in a private university at Brasilia. There, I teach veterinary histology and pathology. I'm also a doctorate student at Brasilia's university in the field of tropical medicine. Yes, I feel I must help people, animals, and the environment. But I'm still waiting for somebody who'd like to help me. Okay. Well, and I think that planning the pilot project is certainly the best moment to a researcher because we put all our inspiration on it. Yes, we think we're going to save the world with an idea. And sometimes we feel like a superhero. And we also dream about some more few benefits. Oh, let me introduce you, Jean, my cat. He always has a nice word to comfort me, and that's why he's here today with me during my presentation. Say good night to everybody, Jean. Meow. Shut the fuck up and let me sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Cats are so systematic, okay? Well, but tonight I'd like to talk about a special zoonosis called Leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis can be transmitted in many tropical and subtropical countries, and it is found in parts of about 88 countries. It's a disease caused by protozoan parasites that belong to the genus Leishmania, and it is transmitted by the bite of a female phlebotomine sandflies. Hey, Jean, what do you want to say to the people? Yeah. Females. They always find a way to kill us. Hey, come on, do you agree with Jim? Do you also think that females also find a way to kill you? Yeah? Okay, so it's not a secret anymore. Okay, it's not a secret, yeah? But I think I'm gonna let this one here for a, I don't know, maybe a surprise. Okay, let's go. And nowadays, we find many cases of humans and dogs who got sick after have lived in areas of, iron, uh, of um, environment degradation. And that happens for two reasons. Uh, well, with environment degradation, many wild mammals die. And mosquitoes vectors now uh, look for new sources of blood meal that they find uh, humans and domestic animals like dogs. And with environment degradation, many wild mammals run to urbanized areas. And there, they can find food by an easier way at our garden and garbages. And mosquitoes vectors also follow them, but they find us. My project is about the interaction between wild animals that live at urban forest and leishmaniasis that affect humans and dogs who live in this area. And to do that, I must capture wild mammals in the jungle, collect their blood, and process the extraction of their DNA to know if they're positive to the disease. And I do the same with the phlebotomines. Et voilà! Now I must analyze data and get conclusions. Um, it's quite simple, isn't it? No, it's not that simple. And it's here that we have to have Jenga to make science happen. And I'll give you some examples. Well, when I wrote my project, I found the two variables to answer to the main question. But when my advisor read it, he said, that we had to analyze 300 variables to answer the question. Well, 
300 variables. Oh, that's too many variables, Anjin. Meow. Leave her alone. If she gets traced, I will pay for it. Yes, and you were right, because I'm a female, okay? Um, then I, I write my new 1,000 pages project to send it to the ethics committee. And what happens? Oh, it's, um, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, uh, to the ethics committee. And what we find? It's an excellent, innovative project. This would bring many benefits to society. But this comma here is outside the norm. What impedes your approval? Oh, come on, maybe he needs a, a pet to keep cool. Onde? Oh, yeah, maybe a hungry shark. Yeah, so maybe a piranha here in Brazil. A uh, uh, fish, okay? Um, then, after all, Every time I arrive at home after collecting samples day at the forest, I go take my shower. And what I find? Well, I found thousands of ticks eating all my body. But you know, I, I prefer having ticks than lawyers in my back. Uh, do you know the difference between lawyers and ticks? Oh, it's a joke, huh? If there is any lawyer in here. Do you know the difference between lawyers and ticks? No? Well, this can save your life. Pay attention. Well, one can suck all your blood, and the other is a small insect. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, and that's a huge problem researchers must face because researchers' appearance changed a lot from the beginning to the end of the studies. And that's why, by the beginning of the studies, Is, uh, researchers are like this. But by the end of their studies, researchers are like this. <laughs> okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> hey, come on. It's not that bad. I'm still in the middle of my research. Okay, I know I'll continue facing problems and challenges during this project. But I'll continue fighting with Jinga, no matter if I succeed or not. And I would like to invite a volunteer here. Gregorio, you are the volunteer and the cat of the show, um, to help me um, with a, demonstra a Jinga demonstration. And I hope you enjoy uh, this demonstration. by the computer. Thank you. Okay. 